At the very top of the application is what we call the trade ticket. This is a button that's accessible no matter what is on the screen and opens up a trading ticket for quick trading. So specify a symbol and it allows you to build uh, an order using a typical trading ticket style. So specify buy or sell. Notice it changes the button at the bottom where you would submit the order. So then you specify quantity, market limit, stop or stop limit. If we choose limit, you can see it changes the menu at the, for the button uh, as well as gives you additional menu options. Specify the limit price and you can have it follow the bid or the ask. So if you want to submit a limit order that will follow the bid, notice you can see the bid is changing in here now and it's basically following the bid price so that you would, if you were to submit an order it would submit it at that price. If I chose follow ask it's essentially following the ask now so you would be lifting the offer in the event that it was a buy order. Um, that's one way to think of it. If, it, if you're selling you may want to follow the bid so that it would uh, essentially hit the bid in order, order to get in the order. So. I'm going to submit a sell limit. I got this set at 94 half. You can see I did establish a short position of 10 at 94 half. And I'll go ahead and work a bid here at 94 even for my 10. And I'm filled. Another helpful feature with the trade ticket is the ability to create orders quickly from a watch list or even the positions tab down at the bottom. So any cell, whether it be in the order tabs or whether it be in a watch list that has a background color is clickable, allowing you to quickly trade that instrument. So if I click this down here at the bottom, it opens up the trade ticket to buy 10 market allowing me to quickly flatten out my position in that instrument no matter what's on the screen. I can also do this same thing by clicking my position here. So if I had multiple positions and multiple instruments, this would be a way to quickly flatten out the trade no matter what the quantity or no matter what was in the dome or on the screens in other places. So I can click, you can see that opens it up. Same goes for the bid and ask columns. If I wanted to trade the Canadian dollar, I can click the ask column. It opens up a buy order. I specify a quantity and I can then set the order to buy one market or limit or however you want, but it's a quick way to join in and trade the market. So clicking the ask creates a buy order from here. Clicking the bid creates a sell order. The idea is if you click the bid, you want to probably sell, sell, hit the bid. And if you click the offer, the idea is you want to uh, lift the offer uh, or like buy market.